Krita lines moving. The options to use the Bezier curve and assistance to draw steady strokes are pretty good, but in the long run it's probably time saving to draw the strokes directly with the stylus. So to help us with that, Krita offers use of various smoothing options. In this video I will explain how to use these. First of all, I activate the brush tool. In the tool options dialog I have four smoothing options. No smoothing obviously does not smooth the stroke at all. Each tremor in my hand will be picked up by the line. Next we have basic smoothing. With basic smoothing we take a moving average of the stroke. In other words, it takes the location of the past few pixels and calculates the average. This results in a much smoother line. Next we have weighted smoothing. Weighting smoothing is just like basic smoothing, but we can adjust the parameters ourselves. The first parameter we can set is distance. This is the distance over which an average is taken. So if you set this very high, the line will be very smooth, but very unresponsive. And if you set this low, the line will not be smoothed. So when you set the parameter high, it's better to draw quite slowly to keep control of the stroke. The parameter stroke ending controls the extent to which Krita tries to complete the stroke after you lift the stylus. Since the drawn line consists of an average of a number of points, the stroke is always lagging slightly behind the stylus input. If the stroke ending is set very high, Krita will fill up the distance between the end of the stroke and where the stylus was last touching the pad. Then we have the smooth pressure option. If this is active, the pressure input of the stylus will also be smoothed in addition to the location of the stroke. Finally, we have scalable distance. If this is active, the distance over which the average is taken will depend on the zoom level. If this option is deactivated, the distance will be a constant number of pixels, irrespective of how far zoomed in we are. So in other words, if we zoom out, the apparent averaging distance will be much smaller relative to what we see. Which brings us to the stabilizer. Stabilizer includes the parameter distance, which works the same as the weighted average. It also has the pretty cool parameter called delay. Delay creates a dead zone in the cursor. If the cursor is in the dead zone, nothing happens. That means I can draw one long stroke. Pause, wipe the sweat off my brow and think about where to draw next. It also means I can draw sharp corners like so. Finish line is the same as stroke ending, but you only have the option to activate it or deactivate it. And finally, stabilize sensors is just like smooth pressure. When it's activated, also the pressure input is smoothed out, as well as other inputs which may or may not be inputs in your brush, like speed and tilt. But we will be learning about that later on. As far as smoothing goes, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.